when I bounced off the road, I felt the back of my head hit my shoulders, and then that's when I heard the explosion of the, the neck breaking. Josh was a bit of a wild child. He was a bit of a rat bag, if you like. He rode, a, he rode a bike before he could walk. He was skiing when he was two. Went into snowboarding at 11 and that was it. He just loved snowboarding. I dropped in. I went straight for the jump and right just before I hit the jump I just hit it, I think I hit it a little bit too fast which made me go upside down so basically I was looking at the road upside down watching it and then that's when I hit the road. It all happened so fast but yeah he's your mate, he's hurt, he's just lying there and gargling and yeah he said that he couldn't move his arms and legs. He said, well, basically, your son will never walk again. He may not even get out of bed. His spinal cord's crushed. I was called in the morning after the accident. Here we see the lower two cervical vertebrae, C6 and C7, and T1, which have been either fractured or burst. I said, well, I know what I've done, and I don't want to live like this, so you're going to have to drag me out of the paddock and shoot me. and I realised that if I was going to be able to get a wheelchair, I needed every single bit of help I could get. You know, the chi energy is what helps you pretty much your body run. The work that we were doing with a strong sense of chi was to keep everything flowing. It was critical to keep the nervous system active and the flow of electricity from the brain to the rest of the spinal cord. The thing about the hospital is that they tell you all the things that your child can't do anymore. But in my head something just said, you can do it. And I thought visualise standing up, visualise what it was like to stand up, put your feet in the ground like it's in concrete. And then and the next thing I knew I was standing, I was completely 100% by myself. I've never seen a young man with such outrageous determination. Well, my main goal was to walk out of where I came in on the stretcher. I proved them all wrong. I walked out of the door that I went in on a bed. Diagnostically, he presents like a complete quadriplegic, yet clinically he walks. So after about a year and a half, I pretty much threw the wheelchair away. Now I have such a full life of riding dirt bikes, snowboarding with my business. The worst thing about a broken neck or a broken back is it's the most lonely, lonely injury you can ever have. If I can help give hope to someone by what I've done, then it's all worth what I've done and gone through if I can help someone else. <laughs>